tank of the level of disappointment being that you know Bill was talking a lot and you know, we can, not gonna get the chance to resolve all when you uh, spar in order, uh, what did you learn about yourself uh, from from those sparring? Uh, world class also. Uh, I think being the late substitution, you obviously have to focus on him because as you saw, Tafimo just got upset by Kumbosa. Is your mind any more like, okay, I just have to really focus on this guy? Although you are, but seeing what happens with Tafimo, I know. Well, he don't have it for the knockout. Yeah. 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 I think I'm always ready for those great girls. Any opponent, you know, since he's known that he's going to be no, I I overlook any so guy. So. Tank, I saw Conor McGregor uh, said perfect placement on one of your shots. Uh, how do you feel about guys like Conor McGregor checking you out, studying you, and uh, how does that make you feel? What was your reaction to that? Um, what are you looking to work on in this particular fight what, what particular skill set are you looking to work on a show displayed in this particular fight on sunday night Probably my boxing skills, I think so. Hey, Javon, in the all-axis, you mentioned that you feel that uh, Isaac Cruz is tougher, uh, a tougher fight, more difficult fight than Roley. Can you elaborate a little bit more on that? Why, why do you feel that way? I, really, I mean, at that moment, I don't know why I said that, but I feel as though like, I, don't, I've never been in there with Roley or, or Isaac Cruz, so I can't really, you know what I mean? Um, say he's tougher, but I definitely don't see when I'm getting there. I see how I possibly do that. Do you feel he presents you know, a different, a different aspect in his game than than a rollie, like something more dangerous or more that you got to be careful with? more punches. Mm. That's why I probably said that. He, he, he definitely throw more punches. He's shorter. Uh, I want to say strong, but he can hit. But he, he's, he's somebody that's gonna be there. Mm -hmm. Fighting somebody shorter than you, how how different is that? How odd is that for you, kind of to prepare for that? I mean, when I was in the amateurs, I was fighting like different guys, and different like each and every day. So um, I fought a lot of smaller guys. Even when I was pro, I fought uh, shorter guys. I just gotta be there, you know, be able to you know adapt to uh, whoever I'm in the ring with. You had mentioned that a lot of guys crash and burn because they don't stay focused. And a lot of people are mentioning how Tiafimo looked unfocused this weekend. Uh, and you said that just a couple of days before he lost. What was your opinion or thoughts on the fight and his focus going into the fight or during the fight? I, th I think he just thought someone, like, this guy was a slouch. Sit down and enjoy. He went in there with his hands. That's just my And he tried to force me, like, so much things he did wrong. Then he had it, he, he was too big headed for one. His father was too big headed. The boxing world was thinking because he beat Lomachenko, he was too, I don't know. Just everything. Every, everybody played a part of that. It wasn't just him. So that's what you did. How do you make sure that you stay focused on the task? Um, 
I'm all, I mean, me, I've been telling you. I'll be focused, like, even if I'm all focused, it only takes me a split second, like, just to get myself in the oil. My coach is like, you slipping. And I'm back for first, you know what I mean? So, if somebody beat me, it's going to be somebody that's game. I did not beat me because of me. You know what I mean? Or, or, I mean, no, it, it, it's not going to be because of me sleeping on the next person. It's got to be somebody that, you know what I mean? Like, you know, beat me. Like, he's just that better person than me. You know what I mean? so, that's what it is. Javonta Leonard said you guys get up for every fight, every fight. So in the days after your opponent changed, what were those days like when you realized that you had a new opponent? How did... Uh, the days changed? Did you go start to look at film and go back to the gym? What were the days like after you found out you had a new opponent? Uh, I think I was watching because it was, it was a couple names that was being called for me to fight. So I think I was watching it's a crew before they even changed the name. So uh, I was watching them. So when, when they said that it was a uh, possibility, uh, yeah, you know, um, it could be a change with Rory. I start watching it's a cruise and you know, um, bring that different spawn partners for me to spawn. But um, it's all a part about, uh, the, about the, uh, the sport game. You know, and, um, it's my job to adapt to you know whoever in, uh, end up uh, in that square circle with me come fight like. So I feel as though you know. Um, it's you know it's my job to go out there and be, be who I be and that's you know, uh, no matter who in front of me you know so that's my job uh, come Sunday night I'm definitely looking forward to it hopefully the fans looking forward to it and then, you know just uh, pull on maybe we can get rolling you know, uh, at the top of uh, 2022. Thank you and all access. A little shade that you say that you weren't you were making a whole lot of basketball shots. Uh, were you a better basketball player than, than they were saying? <laughs> Tank, when you're in the ring, how long before you know someone don't belong in the ring with you? As far as like under the lights, how long it take you to, to kind of digest what you did? It only takes a second. I mean, not I'm not really a second, but it's quick. Probably like a, I would say like 60 years. Once I start touching you, like if I can, like, because you know, it, the first round is your best round. Well, for some fighters, it's that best round. So if I could touch you that first round, I know it's like down the line. So, the reason why I ask you that is because are you, you know, do you do you push the pace on crews once you realize whatever you you dealing with? Like how you feel about going extra rounds? A lot of fighters say they don't get paid overtime. Is that something you're gonna push for to get the early stoppage? You see my fights, right? So, yeah. <laughs> you know, they ain't gonna be there tomorrow. I can't say that now, but when we get in there, I definitely tell. Thanks for sitting here. And Canelo was you at 168 pounds. What do you think of uh, his performance in, in his move? Oh, uh, I like Canelo as a fighter. Um, he's tough. You know, he learned a lot from him. He's learned from him. I believe he's a better fighter. Uh, he's, 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 I think he's definitely you know, one of the best. Uh, He's showing the way for the young fighter to fight today. Do you think he'll, he'll do well at 190? Yeah, of course. Do you have any aspirations to fight like you said? Yeah, I need it. Yeah, I know. I know with that. We gone. Man. Tank, Tank, can you pinpoint some of the lessons that made you a better fighter along the way that you still kind of hinge on to this day? I mean, I, not really no lessons, but just being around a lot of top fighters. I've been around, you know, um, a lot of top fighters, like older than me. You know, I was, I was young. You know what I mean? I even was around, you know, the, the Peterson brothers, Adrian, you know, um, 
they were, um, I want to say, uh, Earl. They were Earl. I've been around a lot of top fighters, you know what I mean? Uh, as well with Sean. Um, I think just experience, just being around, you know, uh, good fighters, you know, I think that's, I want to say, that's probably a lesson. Okay. What are your thoughts about Terrence Crawford and that fight that we just had? Uh, Terrence was a I better go. Terrence is a sound fighter. He's, he's sharp. Uh, he did what he had to do. You know what I mean? Uh, he went in there. I think that Sean came out too fast. I want to say, and then, and then, and then like, uh, and bit him in the ass, like, and going to when he got dropped. I feel like. But, you know what I mean? Um, I feel as though uh, Terrence is a sound fighter. He looked he looked sharp. He did what he had to do. He, 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 he weathered the storm. You know, it was a little shaky at first, but he got through it. Do you like it strongly to bring out Fritz? Do you like it strongly to bring out Fritz? Do you like it strongly to bring out Fritz? Do you like it strongly to bring out Fritz? Oh, you got to wait and see if something big. Don't you pay? No. Come on. You want it? No. Hey. Javon, Javon, Javon. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, Competitively, do you want to outdo Devin Haney since a lot of y'all events are overlapping each other this week? As far as pay per views, performance. Thanks, buddy, on pay per view. <laughs> I mean, and I'm never worried about the next person. I mean, I'm never worried about the next person. I'm always focused on my people. You know, and whenever we see each other, then that's what it is. But as far as not worrying about somebody else, I'm really not into that. You know what I mean? I know this might have already been asked, but for our cameras, do you foresee yourself fighting Roley eventually, or do you think that's, that's done and over with? I mean, you never know what the future holds, you know what I mean? I, I'm definitely willing to give him a shot, you know, uh, give him some money. <laughs> Tank, you said you, being around so many talented fighters during your career, aside from Floyd, who's a fighter whose style that you enjoy to watch in the gym, who really makes you take notice that you just enjoy seeing? You mentioned the Peterson brothers, and you mentioned Broner, and other people you've been around. Whose style do you like that maybe, maybe not became a pay-per-view star, but you just enjoy him and you like seeing that style of fight? I believe probably most of the guys that I've been in the ring with probably uh, Peterson Brothers, Floyd, Adrian, uh, Canelo. I actually didn't been in the gym with him, but watching him fight, you know, uh, the lights. I like Canelo. I like uh, a lot of young fighters too. There's a lot of young fighters coming up. I like. Uh, just, just uh, people that can box first. Like, if you got really good skills, then I like you as a, as a fighter. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not, just me picking like somebody better than the next one. If you good and, you know, I can learn just a little thing from you, then I like you as a fighter. You know? Since, since you're, you are a fan of, of Canelo, I'm just kind of curious, what do you make of some of the criticism that he's gotten with some of the, the moves that he's done, especially this, this well, him moving to cruiserweight and people saying, like, oh, why isn't he fighting so-and-so and so-and-so? Like, what, what do you make of all that? He cleaned up the division, didn't he? Man, he's doing what he wants. That's, 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 that's the whole beauty of it. You know what I mean? Let me touch on that. Criticism comes with being on top. 
it, it, it is with any sport, with any sport, you know, and so if you just have to ignore it, you know, you on top for a reason, everybody trying to get your spot, when it comes down so is that what you want to get, uh, Javante, where you can pick and choose what you want to do and, and, and you know, just be in the, in the best, best position you can? Yeah, yeah. Right now, I just did no work. Did no work. So I, I asked that question because I feel like you could be in a similar position already because you get criticized for a lot of the fights that you take. And, and I know you and him. But they only criticize me though. They mm -hmm. don't say nothing about the other fighters and who they fight. They always say me. Mm -hmm. like, they always say, I don't know. <laughs> It's crazy. Like I don't know what it is. It's Jealousy. Yeah, Jealousy. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.